I hope it don't be in that hook out. <laughs> Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, meeting up with Creek Fishing Adventures. Go do some carp fishing. I have no idea where we're going, so I'll see you there. I'm on the road again. I ain't got no idea where I'm going, and I hope I make it home again. All right, we are walking through the jungle to this super uh, hidden carp spot. And these pine needles are slicker than snot. I really don't feel like. Oh, Woo! I slipped. Right here in front of me. A huge spotted bass on the bank. Oh, I got to do this real quick. <laughs> Not even fishing for bass, and then that's when, oh my, dude, he's sitting. All right, we were supposed to be down here trying to catch some carp, but there's a monster spotted bass like right it's, it's there. It's legit big. I don't know how to. Uh, that is a thick boy. Yeah, he's thick, isn't it? He? he is. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a cast from here. I think he may have already seen me. Yeah, he's moving up a little bit. He's that that fish is every bit of five pounds. I easily. I was saying three or four, and then I'm like, I think he's bigger. Yeah, we're supposed to be down here carp fishing. Dude, he's huge. I'm trying one thing. Okay, we finally thing. made it down here under the water, and we got this nice little pocket right here that's looking all juicy with some carp flowing around in there. Uh, he's throwing out some worm. I'm gonna put some nightcrawler on or, or some corn on, and see if we can catch one of them big old carp fish. Stay tuned. Take it, probably something takes when it's just cooked. I got a small hook on it. What you got? No way, it's a cushion bat. On worm. Snagged. I don't know if that came loose. Nope. My hook did break off though. Now, if I can get turned around without killing myself. I'm gonna go to one of these six cents drop shot hooks. Definitely a lot stronger. The thing about using corn as bait, you can eat it. Hey, you got something with some stroller shoulders on it. Hey, it's my target species. It's a lot smaller. Cart? John Boy's over showing me up. Oh no, that's a uh, buffalo or quillback. I think. I think that's a quillback because the buffalo we are a lot more, like got a lot more rounded head. I'm pretty sure that's a quill bite. Alright. I forgot I had my keys on me. I probably should have left them up there on the bank in case I was to fall in. 
Look good. What's on? Does that show up? Yeah, that's good. Go ahead and turn it on. I'm just gonna pick it up here and then I'll release it. I forgot I had my keys on me. I probably should have left them up there on the bank in case I was to fall in. Does that look good? What's on? Does that show up? Yeah, that's good. Go ahead and turn it on. I'm just gonna pick it up here and then I'll release it. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a quill back, but I may be in the wrong. Yeah, I got a little too much water in that, uh, the cornflakes. I've got, if you go back over there, I've got trout magnets in my bag. <laughs> that one just turned and looked at my corner and turned around and left. He's over there on it right now. He's sniffing it. Oh. Come on, pick it up. Over here. Yeah, he just turned, he just came up past me. Come on. That's like a probably two or three pound cart. Just sitting at the mouth of this little faster flowing water here. Got it. Had it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. Uh, 12 pound was not what? enough. You just broke that? Didn't like nothing. Okay, corn's gonna be, if we get it right, they have to be like sniffing right around it. All that scent brought it in though. Man, that made a difference when you put that pack on there. Well, I had, I put, I put too much, uh, really right here. I put too much water in the corn and whatever, and uh, <coughs> poured a bunch of it out, so it was a lot of that strawberry whatever scent. Got poured into the water. Go, go. All right. I let the drag loose. You, they're all feeding right there. I just dropped my worm right where he was feeding, where you brought them in. Chris threw a little pack of corn stuff. <laughs> I'm recording for my channel and <laughs> recording him out fishing me. He's caught like five different species today. This is my fifth species. Five fish, five species. All of worms right here. That's what I wanted. This is the fish I wanted. I saw these last night. Beautiful. I'd back off that drag a little bit so he don't pop you. I, I, it's pretty loose. I got 15 pound leader, but dude, they're all through here right here. All right, I'm gonna get him in. I'm just gonna kind of hold him up. Is that a pretty good angle right here? Yeah. I'm gonna hold him up and try to unhook him and get him back in there. And then we can get back in the fishing. And then I'll send you this clip whenever we get done and you can just trim it however you. I gotta share some stuff with Tyler. I just remembered. You talk him into coming down? I tried to. He said uh, his girlfriend has a family in the area. I'm like, did you guys come down for like three days where we can like actually get to some spots? Oh, yeah. Worms came through. Oh, it's a pretty fish. I think I can hold him. <laughs> Who is a? That's a four. I got a scale with me. That's all right. Man, that's, that's cool. A, Look how pretty these things are. It's probably four or five pounds. Yeah, he's a, he's pretty thick. I'd say four or five pounds. I haven't caught a carp in a while. Yeah, look at that. You think their mouths stick down? That quillback had a mouth went straight down. Yeah. Dude, Chris is recording. We're gonna get back to fishing. Uh, this is the fish I was hoping to get, and I was so good to get. get uh, eh, can't speak. So glad to get one. All right. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Just turn back in. What a cool fish. He's not even acting up on me. Oh, now he is. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. 
I thought it was just a little turtle or something pecking at it. Uh, okay, we're clear of yours. There's two or three more out there with it. I hope he didn't swallow that. Nope, he didn't swallow it. Uh, might be able to get it out. That's gonna smell good in the morning. That's probably about two pounds, I guess you could say. Yeah. On corn. Nice and slimy. Let's get it back. Whew, yummy. <laughs> Some bread to mop that up with. I wonder if I've got signal right here. I got a little bit. See what that video's up to. 15 more subscribers and I'll break 500. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, that video from yesterday went from nine, about 950, 975 to 2.1 today. It's getting some good traction right now. Right. Coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, Got it. We hooked up again. <laughs> We're doubled up. John's got a little bluegill and I've got a... Now this is the first time that I have ever targeted carp with corn and actually caught them. I'm trying to keep it out of your line over here. Nope, perfect fix it. Uh, That's gonna smell good in the morning. That's probably about two pounds, I guess you'd say. Yeah. On corn. Nice and slimy. Let's get it back. Whew, yummy. All right.
caught a couple on the cheap setup. Now I need to catch some on the nice setup. And by the way, these hooks that I've caught these two on, they're not like carp fishing or live bait hooks or whatever by any means but they work really well for it. They're six cents drop shot hooks. And I really would like to eat that corn that I've got in my hand, but my hand is coated in carp slime, so that's not gonna happen. I'm pecked at it. All right. And uh, Go ahead. yours took off as soon as I said it hook into mine. I'm kind of figuring them out a little bit. Since we've caught a couple of them, they've moved down a little bit farther, so just chucking a little... Oh, how's it going? Yeah, we got some carp. Just chucking a, uh, a piece of weightless corn out there and just letting it drift down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to... No, oh, I got it. He's in there a little bit, though. Hold him up there in the sun. See if you can get him to calm down <laughs> enough. Another fun size little carp, about a pound and a half, two pounds on the corn. Let's get her back. Well, I said we would. <laughs> Take him out the grass. That was fun. I'm gonna do it again. All right, well, caught another fun-sized carp off the weightless corn. Let's hope we don't bend this hook out because I didn't change it. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for yours to just go off because I kept seeing something tip or tap it, but it didn't go anywhere. Until I sit hook in mine and that was like, okay, I want that one too. Yeah. Probably the best spot for it. I've got some, uh, <coughs> I think like half ounce or uh -oh. fish on. <laughs> yeah. And he's getting over in that current too. I hope it don't be in that hook out. Yeah, I'm trying to not put or loosen the drag too much because that hook being out a little bit on the last one. But at the same time, I don't want it to be so tight that it just pops it out or pops my leader. does this john like who f just sit <laughs> who fishes for carp in a river with 300 dollars setups <laughs> well, <I'm> not... <laughs> yeah i know what i'm going to title this video too yeah this is definitely the biggest one we've got today all right so i just gotta be patient and hold it. If I was holding it, I probably would have had that one. I can't, I can't stand with the waiting for it. I know. That's, I get impatient pretty quick when I'm just fishing like this. I'll hold this here until you get yours in and out of the video. Well, if, you just, if you get a, if you just be able to get a clip of the drag just screaming, you could just include that as like the intro clip for your video. Sure. My PB carp is only like, what was it? I caught one a while back, I think it was like nine pounds or something. I don't know. No, oh, 10 pounds there at Rogers Creek. I caught that one on a hugger mine. It was like a, I forgot what it was. It was like 15 pounds. It was huge. Um, 
what you want. Do I have, I was going to say, I don't know if I've got my grips on me or not. Yeah, That'd be easier. Hopefully Yeah, that's a good carp right there. All right. Yeah, we'll just get the little grippers. Once we actually get it up here, we'll see if it's close enough to my PB. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be. Seven, six, seven, seven. That's a nice one. That's more like the ones we saw though. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's solid. He's a good one. Oh. <laughs> the grips don't work too well on them. That was yours, I think. That's me. Hopefully that don't even take off. You can get your pliers on you, do you? Get a, yeah, I want to get a picture of this one, and then I'll... Then I'll video it. Well, shoot. I don't know how it's... There we go. It's right there on the corner of the fin. I'd say that one's about eight pounds. Right. Biggest carp of the day, this one, say what, about eight pounds? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Screaming drag, but. With that swift current. Yeah, it got in the current down there a couple of times, but patience pays off when you fighting these big fish on lighter tackle, so let's get her back. That was a really golden looking. What the thing is? Yeah. It's crazy how something that size can be just be so muscular. Biggest carp of the day. This one, say what? About eight pounds? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Screaming drag. But with that swift current. <laughs> yeah, it got in the current down there a couple of times. But patience pays off when you fight these big fish on lighter tackle, so let's give her back. That was a really golden looking. The thicker thing is. You want it? <laughs> this one don't feel all that big. He's just scrappy. Try to keep it out of your line. Uh, he got that one down. Whoa! Wow, that was cold. He got that one down a ways. Put that one yeah, I think we can get that one out. He's just got it in the roof of his mouth. You got your pliers on you? There we go.
Another fun size carp. That one didn't pull drag like the big one did, but that was fun. That was about two pounds or so. That's a fun size. You know, people complain about how carp are treated and how trout are treated and this, that, and the other. You know, they've got much, much worse stuff to deal with out in nature than oh, yeah. a pair of pliers or some grass on a creek bank or something like that. All right, quick little update. Uh, John's caught, how many you caught? What, eight, 10, something like that over there and then over here? He's caught like eight or ten fish, three or four carp, and a piece of bass, bluegill, stuff like that. I've got three good carp, three or four good carp, I don't know, I'll have to look at all the footage. But we're going to give it about another 30 minutes here, and probably call it quits, because the bite has definitely died down in this little comb pocket right here on the side of the river. Ah, sweet. I do have it on here. I can use that in case the game warden was to roll up. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> what? I can finally use my Georgia license. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Pretty good. How you doing? Doing good. Y'all need luck. Couple of carp. Yeah. Coming up. Got white out there? Yeah, it's uh. No, you can walk across really right here. Yeah, it's it's about knee oh, deep. Yeah, on yeah, well, that size either. I got you. Okay. Right, that's fine. I want to get in the shade for a minute anyway. <laughs> I just pulled mine up from the email. So far? Got some carp. Um, <coughs> would the thing from the website the email work? Yeah, man. I've got the hard copy up there. I just didn't think nothing about that one being an email. I don't see it. Good for a couple more days, ain't you? Yeah, I guess I'll renew it. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and renew mine. It's on the, uh, the app there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, man. And that is how any meeting with a DNR officer from any state should go. They're just doing their job, checking to make sure you've got your license. You should be doing your job making sure you've got your license. And that's all there is to it. We ended up BSing with that DNR officer for a few minutes about fishing and fishing in that area, things like that. It was a good meeting. You know, there's absolutely no reason whatsoever to cause a big scene over a license or a fish. A lot of other people would like to believe otherwise. But, again, there's no reason to. You're saving yourself a lot of trouble by having the license that you should have. Anyway, John definitely outfished me today, which is about even. Sometimes he outfishes me, sometimes I outfish him. But he caught uh, some coosa bass, bluegill, long ear sunfish, carp. I just caught a couple of carp. I don't know how many you'll see in the video. He had to do some recording for me because I had a battery die right as a fish hooked up. But it was a good afternoon on the section of the river that we're on. I'm not going to name the river because. But anyway, I'll probably throw up a clip here at the end that pretty much shows how him and I function because sometimes our brains are just like and they sync up i literally text him this morning say hey you fishing today yeah i'm at the gas station fixing to go so and so kayaking no want to go look at some carp spots you want to go yes anyway hope y'all like the video we'll see you in the next one oh, yeah.